Yeah, Tim, I hope you're all well and still staying safe. So as a recap, because we keep recapping medicine as a startup, I want you to look at how has medicine taught us. You should always check your work. And I want you to use your knowledge organisers to recap the example of Paul Ehrlich. When you've done that, I want you to continue and we will go over today's lesson. So we're still on the League of Nations. It's topic two. There's three topics um, in conflict and tension. Topic one, Treaty of Versailles, and we're on topic two, the League of Nations. And we're going to look today at how important was the Manchurian crisis. And we're going to specifically look at this country in the bottom corner of this picture, Japan. And as you can see, Manchuria, okay, is a very important area in China. So what we're going to look at is basically why did Japan invade Manchuria? Now you've been looking previously at the Great Depression and the impact the Great Depression had on countries such as America, Britain, Germany, for example. You looked at that for your other GCSE side of the course in Germany. But we also need to look at the impact of how it impacted other countries such as Japan in Asia. And that's what we're going to look at today. So first of all, I want you to open this YouTube link that your teachers have sent you. And the video is about 45 minutes. So you, I'm not asking you to watch it all, but I would like you to please watch from 12 minutes to 19 minutes and 40 seconds. And what you should have with you is you should have this information sheet. Now, as you're watching the video, I would like you to fill in these 12 questions. Um, and this will allow you to help recap and recall to help you apply it to an exam question later. So please watch the video now and please complete the questions. And then when you're ready to continue, please click back on the PowerPoint and we will carry on with the lesson. So you've watched the video and hopefully you've got a bit of an understanding of why Japan needed to invade Manchuria. Basically, the Great Depression had impacted them deeply and they were struggling to feed their growing economy and therefore they needed more land basically to grow products basically to feed you know to feed the growing population and therefore fertile land was available in nearby China so that's one of the reasons why they invaded and ultimately though that it was condemned by the League of Nations because Japan was one of the leading founding members one of the big four Britain France Italy and Japan so ultimately they shouldn't have invaded another country because it goes against the principles of the League of Nations. Now, I want you to recap this information and I want you to open this sheet that should have been sent to you. Now, it's basically got some information summarising the Manchurian crisis. And I want you to basically think, what are the three reasons you thought Japan invaded Manchuria? Because obviously, there's many reasons why they invaded and you can't remember them all for your exam. So reading that information, what are the top three reasons that they invaded Manchuria? And then for task two, I want you to explain why you don't think Japan, as a member of the League of, Na of, Le League of Nations and the League's main council, should have acted like they did. So why shouldn't they have acted like they did? Once you've completed that task, uh, please click continue and we will start to look at an exam question in more detail. And I'm going to help you structure it and how I would write it. So if we look at this question, write an account of how the events in Manchuria became an international crisis between the years 1931 and 1933. Now, the years are really important in this topic and you are going to have to know for some of the questions, not so much with this one, but some of the questions you're really going to have to know what happened between certain dates. So I want you to bug the question, underline the command key box, the command word, underline the keywords, and then look back at the question as you're writing it to see what it's asking you. So hopefully what you've done is you've underlined the events in Manchuria. Clearly, this question is asking you to talk about the events in Manchuria and how it led to an international crisis between them years. Now, writing an account can be difficult and you can change the wording and you can cross out write an account and write it to how. And this may allow it to make more sense for you for in the exam. And the reason why writing an account is sometimes difficult in terms of wording, I'm just going to move my face, is it's not do not tell me a story. 
Okay, you need to think of it like how did the events in Manchuria become an international crisis? So each event, so becomes an international crisis. And really, the key skills that you're looking at here is cause and consequence. So what caused them to invade Manchuria? Well, we know that the Great Depression. But what was the consequences of consequence of this? That invading another country went against what the League of Nations said. Okay, so it caused international crisis, which ultimately, because they blamed Japan, they left the League of Nations. So it's cause and consequence. And I'm going to show you a bit more through giving you an example of how I would write this exam question. So if we look at my model answer, I'm going to have to move my face again. The events in Manchuria became an international crisis. Now, hopefully you're getting used to using the exam question to help start you off. Some of you always say, I really struggle to start exam questions. Remember, use the exam question to help you start off. So the events in Manchuria became an international crisis because Japan, who was a member of the League of Nations, invaded Manchuria. Now, I'm going to underline this because it's really important. I've given my first bit of evidence, OK? It's important because Japan invaded Manchuria and they're a member of the League of Nations. And then I'm explaining my evidence and why this basically made it a crisis. What made this wrong was that it was already a permanent member and therefore it damaged the league's reputation. So this is my explanation of why it was wrong. They shouldn't have invaded Manchuria because they were a permanent member of the league. They signed up to the ideals that, you know, you shouldn't invade other countries and therefore it damaged the league's reputation. Now, if we continue looking at this bit of information and we continue with this question, the events of Manchuria also led to an international crisis. Look again, I'm using the start of the question to help me start my new sentence because the league was in its within its rights to give economic sanctions to Japan. So the league could have punished Japan with economic sanctions. Remember, they don't have an army, so they are limited on what they can do. However, Japan's main trading partner was the USA, who are not members of the League. Remember, USA never joined. So it would be pointless to place a sanction on them. This made the League look weak. So really, what I've done here is I've used the start of the question to help me. And then I've given lots of information here. So economic sanctions okay, could have been placed. However, Japan traded with the USA. So therefore, sanctions would have been pointless. The examiner is really going to like this because it's, you, it's showing that you know stuff about the incident. And then really, this became an international crisis because it made the league look weak. So I'm really linking back to the final bit of the question. It made the league look weak. Now, if we go on to the final bit, Britain and France could not really afford to introduce economic sanctions as they were both in the aftermath of the Great Depression. So I'm linking my knowledge to previous topics here. So I've said, Britain and France, okay, they can't afford to hurt Japan or, you know, sanction Japan. They really can't afford it because the Great Depression has had too much of an impact. So what did they do? I'm adding my knowledge again, okay, after the letter condemning Japan who invaded Manchuria. So I've mentioned the letter, and you can mention Lord Lytton in this, okay? I should really try and improve my answer by saying after the letter condemning Japan who invaded Manchuria, it led to, because then I'm linking to the question, an international crisis as Japan left the League, which made the League seem unimportant. Now, the examiner will be really happy with this by just adding in these words here. It led to an international crisis because what I'm doing is I'm directly linking back to the question. So what I would like you to do now is I would like you to have a go. OK, and I'm not asking you to write the full paragraph and the full two paragraphs for eight marks. But I, what I would like you to do is I'd like you to pick one of the events, okay, that happens. So we will go, you can go back to this sheet that you had originally, okay, with lots of the information on, and choose one of your three bullet points as why you thought Japan invaded. And I want you to try and write it as I wrote it in my model answer. Okay, so I want you to start off, how 
the events in Manchuria led to an international crisis, use the question to start off your sentence, tell me why, and then explain how it became an international crisis, please. So spend some time thinking of that. If you wish to write the whole um, exam question, feel free, okay? We'll be really happy to mark it for you. And then when you're ready to continue, okay, please continue with the PowerPoint. So, finally, okay, you don't always get a writing account question or an essay question just with a, you know, you have sometimes have source questions. Now, this is a source that has came up previously before, okay? And what I want you to do is I want you to look at this cartoon and I want you to evaluate, evaluate it. What does it show about the British opinions of the events in Manchuria? Now, it's really important that you always look at the provenance of the cartoon. So at the bottom, OK, this is very short, but it says a British cartoon in 1933. So we know from the date it's to do with the Manchurian crisis. And we know it's from a British cartoon because it says it's a British cartoon. So what you need to do is you now need to open this document that your teachers have sent you. And hopefully, hopefully... So if we have a look at this picture in more detail, you need to look at the figures around the cartoon. So you can clearly see, and I've given you some arrows, that this is Japan. And you can have a look. What is Japan wearing? How is Japan represented? Does it look like the League of Nations can handle them? And then you're looking at the League. OK, it says the League is lying down here. So what is Japan doing to the league and are the league of nations using sanctions that they have are they sticking to their goals okay so you have to try and assess are they kind of sticking to what they've set and why is the cartoon in geneva now i will give you a bit of help on that basically this is the headquarters of the league of nations so that is really important okay and why does the need league of nations need face saving so basically, that's face saving. And you can see this man basically putting makeup on this woman who is representing the League of Nations. So why would this man be putting um, face paint on the League of Nations and makeup on the League of Nations? So I want you to analyse this and have a look at basically what this source is suggesting. And when you're ready and you've done that, please continue. So if we were to write this and you might get a four marker. Now, a four marker is one paragraph. If we're looking at this example, I might say I can see that the source is against the League of Nations as it was re represented as a doormat for Japan. Basically, the League is laying down and Japan is walking all over it. This shows that Japan doesn't care what the League says or thinks. Also, it shows that the League was helpless to stop Japan from being aggressive to another nation that should have been protected by the league. Now, this model answer is OK, but it's not perfect because it needs a bit of knowledge. It needs to add a bit of knowledge. So what you would need to do here is this shows the league that Japan doesn't care what the league says or thinks. I know from my own knowledge that during this conference, conference, I can't spell, Japan left the League of Nations. I've added a bit of knowledge here, okay, and that really helps to gain more marks because I've told the examiner, that, look, they're treating them this way because they don't care what they say or think, and ultimately, Japan has left the League of Nations because of it. Now, another word that you can use during this is hopefully, and it will recall, and if I just delete this, is this word satirical, okay? It's a satirical cartoon, and you really need to get used to this word because it means mocking. This is a British cartoon, basically, that is mocking the League of Nations and how weak they are. So if you can really start to use that type of word in your exam, that would be really good. Now, what I would like you to do 
is I want you to use your information and I want you to do the same of what you've done for the basically the account question. And I want you to basically bug the question. So hopefully, you know, you can bug the question now. And basically what I would like is one paragraph because I do not want more than one paragraph because it's only worth four marks. I want you to try and write me a paragraph answering this question. And it'd be absolutely fantastic if I can see the word satirical being used within your paragraph. Once you've completed that, you've gone finished the today's lesson. Okay, if you need any help or support, please email myself, Mr. Bentley or Mr. Byrne. Thank you. Have a good day.